Hey, what's up survivors? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another 7 days die tutorial. Currently doing this in alpha 14.7 on PC, but this should work out on console or any future versions here. Okay, one of the scariest and most traumatizing things about playing this game is dealing with the nighttime because it is freaking dark as you can see here and regular old torches just don't provide that much light. Barely more than what's left if you just turn the torches completely off. Now while they're a lot easier to make and you can make a lot of them early on in the game, they're not very helpful when it helps to or it comes to lighting up an entire area so i want to show you guys a better way to light up your world and that is with the use of mobile spotlights and you can see i have a few of them placed out around my property here and as you can clearly see it is much much easier to see at nighttime with these giant strobes of light beaming out as opposed to the little bitty torches off in the distance so anyway let's get right to it Crafting the mobile spotlights doesn't really take a whole lot of resources here, but some of them might be a little bit difficult to find, like the headlight, the lead car battery, the iron, you can find pretty much just breaking down anything. One of the best places to look for the car battery or the headlamp are these broken down sedans as you'll see sitting around the world here. All you have to do is just go up to them and search them and you might have a chance of finding either one of them there or both of them if you get really lucky. Another place would be some of the stores like the Working Stiff Tool Shop. You have a good chance of finding them there too. And once again, once you already have a headlight and a lead car battery, and then you can find some scrap iron, whether it's by finding it or breaking down some tools or tin cans or whatever, this is all you have to do to craft it. Just have one of the headlights and the batteries and tin iron. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the quality of the car battery doesn't matter. It's not going to give you any difference in light, whether you have a really weak or almost broken car battery versus a really good one. And the quality of the headlight doesn't change how bright or how far the light shines either. Once you've crafted them, all you have to do is just put them like you would any other thing. And if you left click, you can see you can rotate it any of the eight possible directions that you want it to face. And you can see as it's going there and then right click when you want to place it. And one of the great things about the mobile spotlight is that you can pick it up when you are done using it and move it on somewhere else. And then just to kind of show you a difference of what it looks like in my area here before I put all the spotlights into place versus what it looks like after I put all the spotlights into place. So you can really easily see the big difference in how bright these spotlights are and how well they light up the area. And that just about covers it for using the mobile spotlights here. Now, I know some of the ingredients are harder to find, say, for the torch or whatever like that. But if you can come across some car batteries and some headlamps, you have a really good chance of lighting up your whole area. And when it comes to the nighttime hordes, especially the seven-day fair hordes, it makes it so much easier to know what you're dealing with when you can actually see them coming. So if you have any questions or comments, whatever, do drop them in the comment section below. And if you would do so, I'd appreciate you if you leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other ones. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later.